from BTV and I have with me today two very special guests to chat about their new film, Justin Long and Jennifer Goodwin for He's Just Not That Into You. So most people have heard of the book, He's Just Not That Into You. Um, can you tell us a bit how you came to be involved in the film? Sure. Um, well, you were involved first, right? I was involved first. I mean, before you. Not mm. first first, because yeah. Drew was there. Yeah, right. It's but our movie. When I, I, all I heard was that it was, I think you and Drew were the only two, and that was, that was enough for me, and, and um, I, was, I was interested just based on that cast. <laughs> and, uh, then I read the script, and, 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 and fortunately it was, it was a great script, and um, so that was it for me. I, I was in. Yeah, I read the script, knew nothing, I knew nothing about it. So you hadn't read the book before? No, and, and it, was, it ended up being my first self-help book I've ever read. But, um, which, you know, maybe if I had read more growing up, I wouldn't have had to become an actress. Um, <laughs> but, but, yeah, no, I read the script and fell in love with it and wanted desperately to play Gigi. It kind of, there, there wasn't a choice. I had to play her. So mm -hmm. I fought tooth and nail and flew across the country a couple of times. And she was so perfect for the part. It helped me reading the script because I knew that she was... Uh, like I said, I, she was cast, so um, it helped me, me kind of get the script. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, the, the, it was a good cast. By the time, by the time the interest was shown for me to do it and me doing it, they had already compiled this. Like a, a, a Scarlet was on, and all these people. Um, okay. Yeah, and they wanted me to play Connor, Kevin's part originally. That's oh, what they okay. were interested in me, me for. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I convinced them to let me play the, the uh, a guy that I never sure. get the chance to play. And I think it worked out for Kevin, too, because he doesn't get to yeah. play that kind of character, too. No kidding. I was shocked by this cast. I mean, I just uh, I just didn't see it coming. I mean, just in terms of I was like, well, if I'm playing Gigi, like, no one's going to ever have heard of anybody else in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin, how was it playing Alex? He's a bit of a ladies' man. He's pretty smooth. How did you go playing that character? Well, I mean, it was just a guy that I... I it's not like I couldn't not relate to that, you know. I I definitely went through my phase where I was uh, kind of playing the field, and I was sort of a fun-loving single guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally outgrown that. <laughs> uh, but I but in terms of just being emotionally detached from from a woman, and and and, um, and just kind of being with women recreationally, I think that that's sort of where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he's able to have perspective on. On relationships like 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 Ginny, what Ginny's character is going through, so he has this great objectivity, um, and and I think it, it kind of was it was easy, you know, it was just sort of like it wasn't a lot of research that I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> and Jennifer, your character is um, someone I think most women can relate to. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and her name is Gigi. Is that yeah. representative of your own name? Well, actually, funnily yes. Funnily, funnily enough, Gigi is one of my nicknames. Mm -hmm. So. Th that it was not hard to be called Gigi on set, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and and I relate to her in so many ways and prepared for this role uh, via about fifteen years of dating and humiliating myself on a daily basis. And have either of you um, ever had to be the bearer of bad news to a friend to tell them that someone's not that into them? Everybody's always into my friends. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can't relate to that. All the time. I yeah. Sometimes you need to just shake. Your friend and say, "What are you? You're being ridiculous." Has anyone ever had to tell you that someone? Go no again. Baggage. Yeah. <laughs> no this baggage is, here. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> not far outside of our characters. We've been doing this. Ginny and I have known each other for years, so like. Uh, and Justin had to tell me about 20 minutes ago somebody wasn't into it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's actually true. In the during an interview, <laughs> we were talking yes. about it. We were like, "Oh wait, so he didn't talk about it? Hold on one second. Um, so if he's not, we got really got into it." Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much oh, for yeah. for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, it's been great, and all the best for for the rest of your trip here, and enjoy. Thanks so thank much. You. Yeah. Bye. You can catch Is Just Not That Into You at a village cinemas near you from Thursday the 12th of February. I'm Mandy from VTV. Thanks for watching. You know, you may be the best friend I've ever had. From New Line Cinema comes a comedy about meaning what you say. I gotta go to bed, though. Is that an invitation? What? Without <laughs> saying what you mean. Oh, good. That was cheesy. this guy leave me a voicemail at work so I called him at home and then he emailed me to my Blackberry and so I texted to his cell and now you just have to go around checking all these different portals just to get rejected by seven different technologies it's exhausting <laughs>